Hey guys, what's up? It's Mojo here, back with another video. Um, we got the new Astro A50 wireless headset, 5 gigahertz Dolby Digital, the new base station, Astro Audio mod kit ready, and it works for PS4 and PC. Um, as you can see, it's just this is just the case, the boxes over there. <coughs> but as you can see. Placeable ear cushions. I'll show you in a minute what they mean by US play and charge port, optical out, quality preset switch, just the normal stuff, charging contacts, mode switch, and they are wireless. So there's kind of a look at the base station. <clears throat> and the controls are on like this side, just like any other wireless one mode switch, optical in, power switch, volume wheel base station, optical in and out, Toby button voice balance <clears throat> 5 gigahertz, 15 hour rechargeable with on lithium ion battery Toby headphone, 7.1 surround sound, built in mix amp Power quality arrow, precision microphone with flip up mute. So when you flip it up, it mutes. Sound card functionality. So if you have like a sound card in your PC, customization software and mod kit ready. <coughs> As you can see, straight 50. It's kind of a look at the base station. There's the headset without the mod kit, which are mod kit looks like this Astro A50 mod kit I already have those are just the normal ones the cloth ones normal headband the back of it and then move this out of the way pull the box down you just get like a normal box it's got a little design on it if you can see there's a little design on it to make some room. And then when you open it up, <coughs> they're not in the box. You get a manual. There's the warranty info. And then their packaging is like really top notch. Um, when, when you get this, there'll be a cable in here and you just pop it out. Headset will be in there and then base station. That's one thing I like about Astro. They got like some sturdy boxes. Oh, you can see Astro logo on the other side. Just the basic design. Alright. Let me show you the base station really quick with the mod kit. Alright, there. Well, there's my PS4 right there. <coughs> As you can see, there's the headset. Here, I'll turn it on so you can see it. It's in rest mode. So when you have the PS4 in rest mode or your PC, I think if you have your PC in standby mode. As you can see, that's the, that's right there's the battery light. And that's the, um, that it's paired. To the headset and you can see the amber light is it's charging and if I take them out like they're it's magnetic so if you put it it just stays right there like it's magnetic there's a look at the base station it's got all that stuff there's the base station optical and all of that, and then it just plugged in to the back of my PS4. <clears throat> and then, here I'll show you a close up of the headset and the light with the mod kit. Uh -huh. Here's the headset with the, as you can see, they're, they're like leather, leather compared to the, to the cloth ones. If you have like the 
how old Astro. I think they're A forties. I think I have another old pair. They're like a claw. Not really a claw, but a like spongy material, I guess. Here's the the normal ones, the normal like foam I think that is. And as you can see there's magnets on the back. So if you want <coughs> these on your headset, you just flip it in and out like that and you pull up and it just pops right off. And then if you want to switch them out, you just clip it back on. Um, as you can see, nice matte finish, that metallic blue, the Astro logo, all black. I love the all black. Love the mod kit. It's an extra, I think the mod kit's $40, I think, <clears throat> on top of, I think, and... <clears throat> I'll get into the <coughs> sorry about the cough. I'll get into the whole price stuff later down the road or I'll just have in the descriptions not really a big thing, but as you can see here are the controls. There's the extra quality Dolby Digital on and off. Like you push it up, it's charging. If you push it down, it's off. <clears throat> Max volume, power, and then on the ear cuff, voice volume up, and then it's game volume right there. So you can like these, they click, and then same on the other side. Come on, focus. Asco Gaming right there and as you can see like when you're wearing the, the headset the mic will oh it's kind of stuck here <clears throat> as like if you have the older Astros the mic will you could pull it out like right here but it's stationary so you can't remove the mic and if you, if you pull it down it only goes one way like you can't go this way it'll it'll stop so if you're playing you go you're playing down just like that <clears throat> and you have to talk to somebody or answer the phone or something you just flip it flip it up like that and it it'll if there's a like a I'll, it like locks into place and it's muted so you can talk on the phone do whatever you have to do and <clears throat> your mic's muted. Um, what I really like about these is the nice gray finish they got to them. Um, as you can see in the, the light, it's got like a gray finish to it. And then with the mod kit, it looks all black. And the headrest, very nice. It's very like, kind of like memory foam, I think it is. Same with, same with these, same material. <clears throat> Very, very comfy. I like the mod kit better too because when you're like gaming for long hours and or just gaming in general for like a short period of time, and these ones like it'll 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 be really sweaty. Like I feel like my head's getting more like I, I wouldn't say squish, but like constricted. <clears throat> And wearing them for a long period of time, I don't know if it's like the humidity, like in my room or what. And I don't know if it's like whatever, but these keep it much more cool. Don't have to worry about like the sweaty around the ears, I guess, if you're gaming on a hot day and stuff. These keep it really cool, and you, you can pop either of them out. Popping it out. On the, magnets on the back awesome and then when you're done you just pick it up and set it on oh, if I can. like that and just sit in there my keyboard 
<clears throat> but they're just sitting there. They charge, and they're already paired because PS4 is on. But if I turn it off, like if I put it in, put it in rest mode, like it's still, and it's still charging, <clears throat> and it'll still charge. But what you have to do is you have to put the USB, like the supply power, it's set to every three hours and you have to set it to always or it'll only charge it for like three hours and then it, it'll shut off the PS4 and then your headset won't be charged. I found that out the hard way. But as you can see, it's still charging. <coughs> but yeah, that's the Astro A50s. Um, the only kind of downside I'd say <coughs> to getting these is the price point. Price point is I think three, three hundred right now. And then with the with the the mod kit is I think forty. Mod kit's forty just so long, so it'd be like three forty. <clears throat> and that's before shipping, so you could factor in shipping, which would be another, I don't know, 12, 12 bucks, I think, depending on where you live. But that's kind of the only downside. Um, if you're looking for a nice wireless headset, um, it's not like, <coughs> it's not like Sennheisers or anything like that like a top of the line like audio headset because it's not really for like audio I guess like it's for gameplay it's not really for music so it's like there is the the extra quality switch I talked about that's on the side but those are just like in-game presets like for gaming not music and stuff like that <clears throat> but there is a if you use, do use them on PC there's a command center thing that you can alter the stuff and there's extra quality like bass boost and stuff like that just like iTunes and everything else but another good points are the 5 gigahertz I never had it like cut out or anything I've read a couple people about that um, 15 hour recharge um, I've never had the headset die on me while I'm gaming never happened um, Dolby Digital 7.1, most headsets have that, um, <clears throat> my pair of, um, Razer Man of Wars that I use for my PC, those are 7.1, um, built-in mix amp in the uh, base station, so it's kind of built in, it's kind of all in one, one central unit, which I kind of like, it's not multiple cords, and I don't have to worry about switching it and out. <clears throat> um, precision mic. I've heard a lot of things about the mic that people have having problems with it cutting in and out. Um, I've never had that problem. Um, just make sure you update it before you plug it in. That's the only thing I've really seen is if you don't update it, you could run into problems. Um, sound card functionality. I never really used them on my PC really. Um, or haven't yet. And then customized software which is the command center on the PC and I might do a video on that I'll have to see how I can record that and then what else anything else in the bottom um, let's see. and then contents what you receive in the box Astro A50's base station, 1mm Astro A50 micro USB, 1mm Toslink optical cable. So, optical cable, there's the specs, drivers, frequency response, USB, wireless range, 30 feet. 30 feet? <clears throat> I don't know, that's, that's, that's kind of a ways. That's, well, that's like from living room TV to probably the kitchen but that's kind of a long ways weight is not too heavy so it's not like super heavy on your head which I've had some heavy headsets um speaking uh what are they 
I have a pair of <coughs> uh, my Razor Man Wars. Those are they're not like super heavy, but they got some significant weight to them. Um, but it's not. Sometimes I don't really feel like these are really on my head. I don't really. If I get up and walk around, I kind of forget that they're. I still have my headset on. Um, I love the base station. How you can just once you're done gaming, you just drop it in. It's charging. <clears throat> and I never have to worry about a dead headset or plugging it in or plugging these cables in or swapping them in and out or anything like that. Um, or if I have to do something, I can get up, don't have to worry about a cord or anything like that. Take the dog out. I can just get up and still have my headset on and walk downstairs. And then when I come back, it automatically resyncs and... I can just jump back in and I don't have to put them back on or unplug the cable and plug the cable back in or have any of that issue. Which, this is a pretty amazing headset, but the price point's a little steep. If you're not willing to pay that, you can probably get an old pair of, like, Astros for a couple hundred bucks. I think they're, like, a hundred, hundred and thirty maybe on Amazon. Um... Here's uh, <coughs> my old pair of Astro A40s. Um, I don't know what gen they are. Like they have the removable mic, as I said, like the old Astro, you can remove the mic. And they have, you don't have the removable um, ear cover things, like in these. They have the removable things so you can remove them and put different ones. Um, the A50s don't have that because they have the clickable things on the side, which kind of stings, but I don't know, it's not that big a deal because it has the cool finish on it. <coughs> but, as I was saying, and then the ear cuffs are really small on these. Um, these are just basic Astros with the, where's, just the basic mix amp. Here's the the old mix amp if you didn't know and volume power game extra quality dolby oh, this is the super old one i don't know how old this is got this a couple years ago when <clears throat> i played on the ps ps3 i used these for ps3 and used them for ps4 for a little while until i got those but they they're st they still work fine. They still um, they still held up. Never had any problems, and still haven't any problems recently with those. So hopefully the A50s go strong. We're not having problems with those. Um, there is a mod kit you can buy with for these, not this model, but the Astro T TR. I think they're. Um, let me see the old. Astro has been a little dusty, but still, still decent headset, solid. Um, set those down there, <coughs> but still, it's an amazing headset if you can uh, bite the bullet on the price point. Um, but the video is getting kind of long. Um, I will try to do some more reviews. Um, might might do some Vita game reviews might get into that I got a few good games on the Vita that uh, I can review got a new like hand grip for the Vita I'm gonna review and I got a few more few more few more stuff that I'm gonna review some games um, electronics maybe um we'll just see but until next time guys peace out